Well, Spokane Public Schools is partnering with the local nonprofit Generation Alive to help feed local people in need. Yeah, this is really cool. Generation Alive works to inspire youth to lead with compassion, and that's what they try to do today at Shadle Park High School. Marissa Rio was there to watch how students were giving back to their community. I'm in the gymnasium of Shadle Park High School right now, and let me tell you, just a few minutes ago, it was really loud in here with hundreds of kids packing thousands of boxes for those facing food insecurity. As you can see right over here, there's apples, there's oatmeal, and there's cinnamon, and a few kids here tell me they had a really fun time knowing that they're helping their community. <laughs> Students race to strike the gong every time they filled up a box with meals of apple cinnamon oatmeal. Assembly lines of kids packing food were along every wall of the gym. One student packing a cup of oatmeal, the next sugar, then apples and cinnamon, before finally sealing up a pouch and packing it into a box. One student who volunteers at Generation Alive says today gave him a lot of fulfillment. It brings a lot of joy to help with people around the community because I've, I used to, when I was younger, I used to do none of this stuff and I realized that when I do it more, you bring joy to yourself. Bringing joy to others helps bring more joy to myself. Elementary school students and middle school students also had the opportunity to take part in the fun. Another senior who volunteers with Generation Alive says she used today as an opportunity to help the younger kids understand the importance of giving back. I hope that they can see that it's fun to serve others and it isn't as tasking like it's not as hard as some people say it is um, and you can also do it at any age and continue to do it and um, get the benefits out of it and by the looks of it the kids had a blast attempting to reach their goal of packing 20,000 boxes of meals by the end of the day the students hope to pack an additional 20,000 tomorrow for a grand total of 40,000. Reporting in Spokane, Marissa Rio for News Now.